we're going to build uh, NVIDIA's technology, the next generation of that, uh, all here in the United States. Without, without the president's leadership, his policies, his support, and very importantly, his strong encouragement. <laughs> and I mean his strong encouragement. And one of the most brilliant men that you'll ever meet, the man that's done in a short period of time something that is uh, incredible, He's the founder, CEO, and president of NVIDIA, Jensen Wong. He's producing up to $500 billion over the next four years to manufacture the most powerful AI chips entirely in the USA for the first time ever. Uh, Jensen, would you come up and say a few words? This is a smart cookie. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank, you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor to be here. Uh, NVIDIA reinvented computing for the first time after 60 years. In fact, uh, Ervin at uh, IBM knows quite well that the computer has largely been the same since the 60s. The IBM System 360 described really quite perfectly the computer that we use today. Central processing units, operating systems, the separation of hardware and software, I.O. subsystems, multitasking, all of the words that we use to describe computers today were really invented in 1964, the year after my birth. Well, after all this time, we've reinvented computers again. This is what a, a processor looks like. It's on the right, right there. People say it's a GPU. That GP, that's one GPU unit, and it's uh, 70 pounds, 60,000 parts, uh, 10,000 watts. Uh, in order to manufacture it requires probably a couple of hundred companies in the supply chain. It is so heavy. Uh, that it requires robotics to do, it's so precise. And in just to test a supercomputer requires a supercomputer. And we're gonna build uh, NVIDIA's technology, the next generation of that, uh, all here in the United States. Without, without the president's leadership, his policies, his support, and very importantly, his strong encouragement. <laughs> and I mean his strong encouragement. I, uh, frankly, frankly, uh, manufacturing in the United States uh, wouldn't have accelerated to this pace. Uh, manufacturing, manufacturing isn't about low-cost labor anymore. Manufacturing is about technology. And most of the factories that uh, build these systems today are the most advanced factories in the future. And we're going to use artificial intelligence and robotics and omniverse digital twin technology to make it possible for us to create the factories of the future. And we ought to build it. We ought to build it right here. The the really, the the really amazing thing, is that this computer is the engine of a whole new industry, and this new industry is called artificial intelligence. And this new industry is a manufacturing industry in itself. That's a factory machine. Just as several hundred years ago, the dynamo was invented. Uh, water would come in and electricity would come out. Now electricity goes into this machine and incredible tokens come out, artificial intelligence. In order for this industry to thrive, we need to build these systems, of course, but we also need a progressive growth and industry-oriented energy policy, which this president has really put his weight behind. I really appreciate that. Without energy, we can't possibly have new growth industries. And we now have the backing of the administration, the backing of President Trump um, to support uh, the creation of a whole new industry. This industry is going to enable a whole bunch of other industries. What we now call the AI infrastructure is going to revolutionize every industry that we know. All of the, the many CEOs in the room today are, are great partners of ours for that reason. Uh, we're working on artificial intelligence for many industries, from healthcare to drug discovery to life to well, life sciences, financial services, education, so many different industries. And that's going to be possible because we have the fundamental infrastructure here in the United States. And so I want to thank you, sir, for everything that you've done and the strong encouragement and the great policies that make it possible for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.